Hello, Verified News community. I'm VNN's Brittany Harlow here with your May News Bite. Let's kick it off with some great news. How does $12,000 sound? That's how much VNN Oklahoma is receiving for our allotment era coverage with Lucinda Hickory Research Institute. Our data-driven reporting project will be primarily funded by the Google News Initiative in partnership with Northwestern University Medill. We're in the process of raising funds for the rest. VNN Oklahoma also won $3,000 during Builders and Backers Experiment Expo this month, taking home the title of crowd favorite for our work to elevate grassroots journalism. In related news, VNN released its latest story in the Stealing Tulsa series this month. It may be over a century later, but the mysterious deaths and post-mortem circumstances of one Muscogee Creek family remain under investigation in Tulsa to this day, and they all point to a dark secret within the oldest public cemetery in the city. A bill to help abuse survivors who fight back against their abusers in Oklahoma died with the conclusion of the 2023 regular session. The Domestic Abuse Survivorship Act was written with retroactivity, but it was later removed from the bill. In Michigan, VNN's Rachel Schuett shined a light on family homelessness. The stress and trauma of not having a stable home, lack of seasonal clothing, access to laundry facilities, technology to keep up with classes, and what is being done to help. We had a ton more important local stories this May, including great work from our VNN affiliates at Muskogee Media, Streetlight, The Black Wall Street Times, Broken Arrow Sentinel, The Frontier, and KFF Health News. Make sure to make the VNN News Feed part of your news routine. Sign up for our Substack and subscribe to us on YouTube so you never miss a story. Thank you for watching VNN's May News Bite. I'm Brittany Harlow. See you next time.